YouTube, it's Molly, and today I'm here for a very quick, slightly uneventful week 30 post-op VSG update. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really quick because I'm on my way to Starbucks to study because I have an exam tomorrow that I'm not ready for in the slightest. So it's study night for Molly. Um, today I weighed in at 229.2, which is a 5.2 pound loss for this week which puts me at a total loss of 130.8. Um, my bed's a mess. Things I realize when I'm making YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, 5.2 pounds this week. Fabulous. Um, but honestly getting irritating because it feels like no matter what I do really isn't mattering anymore. Um, you know, I, I felt like I did well this week, but I didn't feel like I did for being 30 weeks out and, you know, being in the weight range of, you know, 200 to 250, 5.2 pounds is, is a lot. Um, so even though I felt I did well, I didn't think I really did that well. Like, that, that's a huge loss. Um, so it's kind of got me at this place where I'm like, is what I'm doing having any effect on anything, um, you know, and, and obviously yes, because if I sat here and ate Snickers all day, I wouldn't be losing, um, you know, if I wasn't watching my carbs and drinking my water, I wouldn't be losing, but sometimes it just feels like you do everything right, and you don't lose, and then you have an okay week, and you're, like, content with it, and you have a huge loss, like, doesn't make sense, but, you know, I, Obviously, I do know that I'm doing well in that, you know, I still track everything every day um, and watch my carbs and watch my protein and everything else. Um, and, you know, if I was sitting here eating candy and chips and crap all the time, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be going down. So, yes, what I'm doing um, has an effect on, on the outcome, but sometimes it just doesn't make entirely logical sense. Um, whatever. I'm happy with it. I like the 130, the 130 mark. Um, so hopefully nothing happens that makes me go back into the 120, um, loss range. Cause I'm, I, I, there's something about hitting the 220s that has me really excited. Like the, I saw the 229 and I was thrilled. Um, Obviously, I've talked about before that my original, like, goal um, that I had told my nutritionist and surgeon when they had asked what I was looking to get to um, was 200, that I was happy with 200. Um, I feel like I'm going to go way beyond that, but, like, that 200 was my original goal. So when I see that approaching, that's huge. Um and obviously everybody wants to be in Wonderland. Who doesn't want to be in Wonderland? But um, I think it's just because I'm seeing that first original, like, final goal approaching. And obviously I'm going to change my goal once once I hit the first one and, and see where I stand and all of that. But, um, you know, that's exciting. That's like 30, you know. 29.2 pounds away from my original goal. That's huge. Um, I started looking at some training plans for the half marathon. It's a little overwhelming. We're, we're working on figuring out what I want to do. Um, a lot of them are like three month plans. I have like six months to go. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to like stretch one of those plans out and like do every week twice or kind of make my own plan and, and ease into it a lot more than the ones that are out there, because honestly, for me, like, starting off at, like, 12 miles a week is a little crazy, um, which is what a lot of them that I looked at, at least, uh, started with, so, yeah, I'm, I'm still working on that, hopefully I'll have a plan soon, so that, uh, the, the gym experiences won't be so unmotivated, um, you know, they're happening, they're just not, like, gung-ho, I'm, you know, whatever. So, um, 
I'm happy with my loss this week. I'm happy with, for the most part, the eating and things that happened. Um, Thanksgiving, I did have some pie. Uh, and by some pie, I mean, like, I took half a slice and then, like, didn't finish it and handed it off to my dad. Um, and then, like, at dinner, I ate turkey and some gravy, but, like, turkey, really. Um, and then my birthday, um, Olive Garden totally has, like, chicken on a stick. Like, chicken on a stick covered in some Alfredo sauce with some tomatoes um, for, like, five bucks. It was delicious. It was more than I could eat, and it was, like, two carbs. It was fabulous. So, you know, if you're scared of going to Olive Garden with other people or something, if, you know, that's what the uh, plans are suggested, look for the chicken on a stick, which is not, it's like chicken spadini or something. It's not called chicken on a stick, but that's what it is. Um, I did have a drink on my birthday. I felt nothing. Um, probably because I didn't even finish a drink because I was working at 6 p.m., but, um, Honestly, with the way that, like, people talk about how quickly they get drunk, I was expecting off of, like, half a drink to feel something, but there, there was nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. So, maybe sometime uh, when I'm not working four hours later, I'll have, like, a full drink at some point and see if, see if it actually affects me like a lot of people say it does. But, yeah, I had... I'm guessing the equivalent of, like, half of a drink, um, before I handed it off to my dad to finish, um, but, yeah, I felt nothing, so, I felt a little bit guilty when I went to log it in my fitness pal and realized how many carbs Bailey's has, because that's ridiculous, um, but yeah. That, that in itself is enough to just keep me away from drinking, because I log everything, absolutely everything, and if you're going to log alcohol, watch your carb count go So yeah, that was, uh, not all of my days this week were low carb, because there was, like, instantly, like, 25 or 30 carbs from, like, my half a drink of Bailey's, so. Anyways, happy with the loss this week. It's time for me to study. I'm rambling at this point. Have a great week, guys, and I'll talk to you all soon.